खुद ही बैठे और लोगों को सुला बुला करके कोने कोने में बैठा है उसको अगर कोई लगता है कि बैठने की जगह नहीं मिल रही है तो बताए बच्चा कार से कार दिखा दिया जाए This very historical protest, this protest regarding uh, against the unemployment. As we know that the unemployment in India is very escalating day by day. Uh, according to Centre for Monitoring Indian Economy, our unemployment rate in India is now 6.9 percentage. It is very, uh, very, very pathetic. See, according to National Crime Records Bureau report, so many young men and women uh, has been uh, suicide. Um, because of the cost of the uh, unemployment, unemployment, uh, not only the unemployment and uh, also the uh, underemployment is very, very threatening to all Indian youth. Uh, this is just a token agitation. Uh, this is just a starting point. Uh, then uh, the DYFI uh, should mobilize more young men and women, irrespective of politics, irrespective of caste, creed, and religion. Uh, we should uh, unite and combat against uh, uh, the unemployment and underemployment also. The current protest is uh, from the several states. Innumerable youth has been gathered, raising the slogan of employment. Where is our job is the primary slogan here DYF is raising. The current scenario for the past 45 years in the history of our nation, we are witnessing the huge rate of, huge means highest rate of unemployment in India. So we are raising where is our job, the slogan. Uh, and asking the government to stop the anti-people, anti-youth policies which are actually results in the selling of India. The every P public sector units, the every uh, single sort of Indian uh, soil is going to be sold by the Narendra Modi government. The crisis of unemployment was there even before COVID. Our youth organization has been raising the demand for an Employment Guarantee Act in urban areas even before the lockdowns happened, even before the pandemic started. Today, we have gathered here with a main demand looking at the looming crisis of unemployment and looking at the inflation that is hurting every person across classes, across regions. Our first main demand is that the central government should institute a Urban Employment Guarantee Act the same way that there is a National Rural Employment Guarantee Act under Mahatma Gandhi's name. We are demanding a Urban Employment Guarantee Act in the name of Bhagat Singh. Within that we want the government, the central government to assure and give 200 days of employment to all those who are seeking jobs. Along with that, because we know that laws take time in this country, we are also asking for unemployment allowance for all those who are looking for work but are not able to earn anything. In our country, 90% of the total population that is actually working or earning livelihoods is in the unorganized sector. They work without contracts, they work without any social security and they are not working regularly. They work for four or five months in other states and go back to their homes and the government actually considers this a job. This is not a job. This is actually, there is no other avenue which is why people have to survive with such meager means. And our third demand and the most critical demand, looking at uh, what the government has done during the pandemic, every policy that it has brought in, whether it's the labor codes, whether it's the farm laws, or whether it's the Agnipat scheme, the army and the armed forces being a major avenue for employment in our country has been pushed into contra contractualization, has been pushed towards privatization in something like defense, which is 
you know a part of the national sovereignty of our country so every policy every scheme that has been brought has been a direct attack on the livelihoods of people we have been taxed we have been left unemployed we have been left without any social support we want social wages we want unemployment benefits we want the right to work to be considered a fundamental right and that's why we have come here 60 lakh government posts across the state and central governments are vacant we we don't even know the number of jobs that have been cut or have completely been lost so we want these 60 lakh jobs to be immediately filled in mission mode and that's why we are here at jantar mantar today